Good evening everyone, today we're going to be talking about the NGS headline because it just ended at the time of this recording and there's a ton of surprises. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first surprise that came out of nowhere is they are making a card mini game. It kind of looks like Hearthstone, kind of looks like Invocation TCG from Genshin Impact. It's really, really weird and it came out of nowhere, as you guys can probably see in the B-roll right now. Um, yes, this is coming next month or the month after, but it's coming soon and it just kind of caught everyone from surprise. At least it caught me off surprise. I was just like, wait a second, what is this? Um, um, you know, I was expecting them to showcase some, you know, some news content coming out in the next couple of months, but then they dropped this bomb and I was kind of thrown into a loop. I was very, very confused on why we have a card game. Now, something about this is this is the first step in NGS towards PvP because you will be able to play other players or fight against other players in this card game. So I guess that's a step in the direction that some people want. I know there are people who don't like NGS because there isn't PvP and that's only PvE, but for me personally, it doesn't make a difference. Um, but sure, you know, I'm not very good at card games. I suck at Hearthstone. I suck at Invocation TCG, and I never really liked it that much. But nevertheless, I will give this a shot when it comes out because, well, they put three years into development for this, so I might as well try and not let their efforts go to waste. But with that being said, let us look at the stuff that is coming in tomorrow because there's a ton of goodies, and with the NGS third anniversary right around the corner, we are getting so so many freebies. So right off the bat, we are getting 150 free SG pulls, 10 every single day actually for the next 15 days starting from tomorrow. Yes, so make sure that you log in every single day, do your 10 pulls. You don't even need to do your dailies. You don't need to do anything. You just log in. You can immediately do your 10 pulls. And if you're done, you can log out, you know, no pressure at all. However, on top of that, Let's say that you get duplicate items. They also introduce a super SG item recycle, so you can actually recycle all those duplicate items and actually get some more rare items, such as Volco Performance 4, which is actually a pretty rare emote. So I'm actually pretty surprised that you're able to pick this up for free. So that is really nice. And then on top of that, we also have the use the salon to your heart's content. Honestly, this should be a permanent feature, but nevertheless, it's here for the entire month. So I'm very happy that that is back. Now, on top of all of this, there are a bunch of campaigns which are starting on the weekend. So starting from April 28th, we have the pre-announced Urgent Quest as well as the Super Treasure Scratch. Now, do keep in mind that with the pre-announced Urgent Quest, we're actually going to be able to do double Urgent Quests as well. Remember, we have the new limited time Urgent Quest that will be introduced starting from tomorrow. So, you know, we're basically just going to be running that over and over. And they didn't specify the loot in the NGS headline, but I do have a funny suspicion that the 11 star weapons are going to be available in this urgent quest. Now, on top of that, we're also getting the super boost campaign of 150% rare drop rate, as well as preset skill items that is the fix a drop rate. So that is also going to be applying to all quests as well as combat sectors. And on top of this, we're also getting PSO two day in a couple of days right after this drops, which will stack on top of this 150%. So you're literally getting 250% without any boosters. So you stack your own 100% boost on top that you can get free every single week. And boom, you have 350% rare drop rate for an entire day and you can go crazy and farm like mad. Now, on top of that, we also have the Super Item Enhancement Support Campaign, which gives us 10% to all of our augmentation aids, as well as our preset skill enhance rate. So this is really great. If you are planning to upgrade, let's say that you do get an 11 star weapon and you want to upgrade it, that's going to be really, really nice. And there's going to be a ton of end Maceta discounts for enhancing your weapons. So that will also save you a ton of money. However, the madness doesn't stop there because on May 15th, we're getting two a day super special AC scratch tickets. So every single day, you're going to get two of these AC scratch tickets that you can use. Now, remember, these items that you get from this scratch will count as AC scratch tickets. So if you want to turn them into AC recycle badges, you can do that. And um, obviously, if you want to spend normal AC because you like the items from this scratch, you can also do that as well. But nevertheless, you know, for the majority of players, 
this is great. You're just getting free AC items over here, and that is really, really nice. Now, on top of that, we also get another super boost campaign, but here it just says super high rate boost. And on the NGS headline, they just kind of hinted that it's going to be higher than 150%. So I don't know, maybe 200%, 250%. We don't know yet, but uh, nevertheless, this is going to be insane. And again, it applies to all quests as well as combat sectors. And then we also have the Super Seasonal World Trial. Now, normally it's just the Seasonal World Trial. This one that has a Super in front of it because I'm assuming that they're going to give you even more SG and even more boost rate. So normally with the regular World Trial with the Stellar Graces, I believe you got like 150 SG every other day. Maybe they'll boost it up to 300 SG every other day. So that's going to end up pretty good. And then on top of that, we get the boost rates, which normally gives us like an extra 30% rear drop rate. They might boost it up to 60%. So uh, this is really, really good news for us. But remember, this kicks in on May 15th. So it's not starting from tomorrow. We do have to wait a couple of weeks before all of these campaigns kick in. And we're getting the new Urgent Quest Planet Crusher Assault. So this is Darkfall's Dalian in Urgent Quest form. And so it's going to be available for everyone. Everyone's going to be able to run this. They've eased up on the difficulty. Difficulty, so there's going to be no more death limit, it's going to deal less damage, it's going to have less HP, and so everyone is going to be able to farm this and do it whenever they want, especially since it's pre-announced, so you're going to know when the urgent quest comes up, so please take advantage of this. Keep in mind that the super rare drop rate boost is also going to apply for this urgent quest as well, so you can definitely take advantage of that, but more importantly, at the same time of this urgent quest being announced, we will also get the Crimson Realm again. Now, Crimson Realm will only be sticking around for one week. They did specify that, which is a little bit unfortunate. However, they did specify over here that the 11 star rarity weapons are added to the Crimson Realm drop items. And so you really want to take advantage of that since we have the super high rate boosts as well as the Urgent Quest as well as Crimson Realm. It's like everything stacking together to create the perfect storm. So basically make sure that near the end of May, starting from May 29th, that your schedule is free because you really really want to farm for that entire week you want to farm as much as possible because there are just so many boosts going on and so many good things happening that if you do miss out on this week it's kind of a shame now with that being said i do want to touch on the ac scratches i know a lot of people are rolling their eyes going like oh yeah of course there's a bajillion ac scratches the main thing that i want to point out over here is they are adding the c lux hal finale s into the scratch count bonus so if you were going to scratch for any cosmetic items just understand that you can get the Lux Hal finales as a capsule. Remember, these are the S variants, so that's a 100% success rate, so zero gambling required. So that will definitely help you on your augmenting if you are planning to augment anything. Um, something to keep in mind over here in this scratch, specifically the remix motions, is there is my signature motion. It's the one where I sit with the red umbrella. However, they recolored it to purple, so uh, that is pretty interesting. I might pick that up. It looks a little bit off but it does fit my color scheme since I usually do prefer more cooler colors. So that is pretty nice. Another thing that they didn't show in the NGS headline is these three special scratch tickets. They're getting the Refined Revival May 2024, as well as the Type 1 Voice Collect and Type 2 Voice Collect May 2024. The main ones I want to point out is going to be the Voice Collect. So these are all the different voice tickets and voice lines that you can get for your character. Um, I have a very comprehensive video of all of the different voice tickets so that you can actually preview and listen to all of them before you purchase them however don't worry when these scratch tickets become available in game you can listen to the voice ticket before purchasing them as well they've added this feature recently thank goodness so now you actually know what they sound like before you spend your hard-earned masetta the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the limited time quest. There's going to be a bunch of limited time quests rolling out slowly across the next month. And so, uh, you know, you can just do them if you want. You don't have to do them. However, I do recommend doing them at the very least just to complete the limited time task as well as the title task because there are a bunch of goodies that you can receive from them. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the new Battle Dia Purple because they've changed the formula a little bit over here. 
Now you can queue up into rank one or rank two. However, the difference isn't the difficulty itself. It's actually the monsters or the mobs that you're fighting. Now in this battle dia, you will be fighting all starless enemies. There's three different starless enemies per rank. So when you go to rank one, there's going to be three unique starless enemies. And in rank two, there's another three unique starless enemies. So it's not like rank two is better than rank one. They're kind of equal. It's just different bosses or different starless enemies to fight. But the thing they changed in the formula is you can now queue up with eight people instead of just four people. So that is really interesting that instead of killing five gigantics, you just need to kill three gigantics and you can actually queue up with eight players instead of the regular four players. So this is definitely going to be something that I want to try out the moment it comes out because it just seems like really fun, you know, just running in with eight players, beating up Starless bosses and not having to worry about killing all five and you just have to worry about three bosses. Hopefully the fights are going to be a little bit shorter and hopefully Hopefully the fights have a little bit more strategy to them, you know, instead of just, oh, let's just beat up the weak spot until it dies. You know, maybe the direction they want to go is a little bit more like Dark Falls Dalian, where you do need some sort of teamwork, some sort of strategy, break specific parts in a certain order or simultaneously in order to take the boss down faster. So this is going to be really fun to play around and to find out uh, what is the best strategy against these bosses. So you bet your butts, I will be trying this the moment it comes out. The next thing I want to talk about is, of course, the Altilier collaboration, which also comes out on May 15. So there's a bunch of cosmetic items over here, as well as really cute mag devices, as well as vital gauges. Um, the main thing that I'm probably going to pick up here is maybe the vital gauges and a couple weapon camos. I think the weapon camos look absolutely amazing. Uh, but other than that, I think the outfits are good, but it's not really my style. May maybe the priest outfit, you know, I, I might pick that up for just personal use, but that does look pretty nice. Nice. Now the next huge bomb they dropped on us is the new and Addy class augments. So these are going to be better than the XD capsules that we currently have. So if you still have XD capsules, you better sell them quick because they are going to drop in value significantly once these capsules become available on May 22nd. Now the next piece of content also caught me by surprise and that is Nazan's Big Quiz Part 3. I was not expecting this to come back. I didn't even know if this was popular enough for it to come back, but apparently a lot of people really enjoy it. So on May 29th, we are getting Nazan's Big Quiz. So I I am looking forward to this. I do enjoy the big quiz because it's just a nice change of pace from, you know, the regular farming and killing things. And this is kind of like a game show. So I do enjoy this. Now, the next thing they introduced over here was, of course, the card game, which really caught me by surprise. You know, sensational card battle. And you look at the UI and everything and it looks super old school. But I kind of think they did this on purpose. So, you know, it's not super flashy. It's just super old school. And they do have voice lines for all the character cards, just like in Genji and stuff like that so this is pretty interesting um but i don't understand how the card game works like you you have to break the enemies bar somehow in order to win and you can fight all the different npcs you know aina dozer so forth and so on and when you beat them you can also pvp other arcs players and there's like unranked battles and rank battles and stuff like that so i mean it's pretty interesting i just don't know how i feel about card games you know, I'm I'm not exactly the biggest card game fan. I'm too dumb for this. But nevertheless, you know, I'm sure some people will love this stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot of players who have not played the base game, you're going to be introduced to a lot of interesting characters over here, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can build your own deck and there's going to be strategies and there's going to be a whole meta built around this. So that's going to be pretty nice to see. Now, the next thing they introduced over here is the Razor Gold exclusive Arcs Cash Super Sale. So I did expect them to introduce something like this. I just didn't think it would be exclusive to Razor Gold. But there are some really nice cosmetic items that you can get over here if you top up a specific specific amount. So starting from May 8th, if you top up 4,500 AC, you actually get all of these goodies, all of the Nagisa outfit stuff, as well as the Rengoku To Ensa. So these are all really sick weapon camos. And Nagisa is the girl that we can see on the far left. She's also a badass as well. So there's a ton of really cool items. I just hope that these are tradable and that they're not bound to account because I know a lot of people would really like some of these items. But topping up 4,500 AC, you know, that that's a lot of money. So a lot of people are going to be sitting on the fence and you have to buy through Razor Gold as well. I've never done it before, so I don't really know if it's easy or not. And the last nuclear bomb that they dropped on us is the Code Geass collaboration, which is coming out in June. 
I cannot wait for this. I am a huge Code Geass fan. They better implement the eye. If we don't get the Code Geass eye, I am going to riot. I'm going to write letters to Sega and be like, what the heck? Um, they better do the eye. That is like a signature in Code Geass. But other than that, I am also low-key hoping for some CC Pizza Hut memes. Now, I know for a fact that they're probably not allowed to actually put Pizza Hut on the pizza box itself, but I do hope that we get some CC emotes or some CC memes with her eating pizza because for those who watch this show, she just really, really loves pizza, especially Pizza Hut. But nevertheless, you know, I am very happy to see that this is a collaboration coming in because, again, I'm a huge fan of Code Geass. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah that's all i wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye